Hey, what's up, Star Wars fans from a galaxy far, far away? We have our first episode here of Star Wars Unlimited Spark of Rebellion. Now, I know these cards have been out for a while and people have already been talking about them and making tons of videos on them. And there are pre-releases and parties and all these things. But obviously, we haven't been feeling well, so we're way behind. And this is something that did spark my interest because I am a Star Wars fan. And when I first started this channel 10 years ago, I actually originally did Star Wars Rebels toy reviews along with Transformer reviews and stuff like that. I kind of started as a toy channel. But Rebels really pulled me into Star Wars, and I got into it big time, and then that led me to Clone Wars, and obviously from there on to other extended universe stuff. Obviously, I'm a fan of the movies. That's That's been like since childhood, even if I don't remember all of them uh, from then. But I've rewatched them all post-aneurysm, and I'm a Star Wars fan. But I just don't talk about it a lot because I feel like some of the conversations it invites over the past few years has gotten pretty bad, like with fans, because everyone gets really divisive on a lot of the new stuff which I totally get, and I'm, I respect everyone's opinions on it, and I even agree with some of the opinions that are out there that are negative and positive. Um, and overall, I would say I, I'm not a big fan of the newest trilogy that came out, but I did like Rogue One. I do like Andor. Um, I've liked parts of the Obi-Wan show. It was great to see you know, Ewan McGregor and, uh, and Anakin and everyone come back, Hayden Christensen. Like, it was cool to see them again, um, and I like the Mandalorian show. So, And, of course, the, the cartoon stuff, Bad Batch, Rebels, final season of Clone Wars, like all that stuff. I really love. So yeah, so we're going to open this up. We're going to see what comes with it. And then I think there's some packs in here we're going to open too. So yeah, I've talked long enough. We'll talk more as we open this. But I just want to see what's in here. And I'm excited to get started and start playing this game. And you will see some, not a ton more card content coming to this channel. Um, except for when Halo cards come out. Which I think they're coming out at the end of March or early April. or may, Unless they get pushed back. So, um, so yeah, you're going to see a lot of Halo trading card or not trading card yeah they're trading cards they're not like a card game like this um so yeah you're gonna see a lot of that coming to this channel very very soon so i hope those hopefully those cards come out on time and don't get pushed back so we have here our box it comes with this little paper box here it's with star wars limited which is nice oh cool and a little divider in it for your cards very cool luke and oh it's got everyone leia Han and Darth Vader and the Death Star. Sweet. That's a really cool image, actually. Um, sweet. Okay, so we got that box. Comes in here. Uh, then we also have that, which we'll look at here in a second. Um, building a pre-release deck. So again, this is not something that's going to apply to us now, uh, but it'll be something, that, because I'm, you know, the pre-release stuff already came out. They did their tournaments and had all their fun. So we're not going to get into that, uh, but we are going to build a deck at some point. And like I said, we'll probably film a match or two with John, and you guys can see how the game is played as well. Uh, a lot of you will already know how the game's played by then if you're watching card videos because we're way behind, like I said. Um, but all right, so we got this here, some tokens. Perfect. And we got our quick start rule booklet, um, which awesome art. Now, the main reason I'm interested in this too is because of the art. Uh, it's so far I've seen it's very divisive. Uh, people aren't sure if, uh, you know, there are people that don't like it. There are people that do like it. So I totally get that, you know, like you know, Star Wars just seems to have that built into it. Um, but a lot of people are divisive on the style of it. Um, and I don't say divisive. I mean, people have made up their minds. There's just some that like it and some that don't. And I've the cards I've seen so far, uh, they look fine to me, but not every card, obviously. So you, I have my moments where I'm like, OK, yeah, this one isn't doing it for me. But uh, some of these other ones, you know, uh, are so um, the packs. Looks like we have Leia packs and Thrawn packs. So we'll just split those up here. And uh, let's go ahead and see what's in this thing. Uh, a lot of you probably already know. Like I said, I, I tried to stay blind on some of this. So the pre-release stuff I didn't watch. I just watched people opening hobby packs. Um, oh, sweet. Okay. So I have, like I said, watched people opening packs and stuff online. So um, I know that this is a leader card. And it looks like we have a Vader one, too. Oh, they're a little bent. That's okay. We'll we'll put them in top loaders. Oh, they're foil on the back. Oh, interesting. Not on the front, but on the back they are. That's really unique. Uh, cool. So this is card one and two of two. Oh, it's okay. So these are limited. They're telling you right off the bat that these maybe are exclusive to this box. I don't know. Um, so you guys tell me in the comments. Uh, that's cool though, but these are leader cards. Every pack is supposed to have a leader card in it and a base card. 
And when you build your deck, you have to have at least one leader or only one leader, I think, and a base card uh, that you're operating out of. And then everything else from there, you build your troops and your, your vehicles and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, and then I think every pack has a foil in it as well. So we'll um, we'll see. We're going to see some examples here. So I think now that I've watched a couple videos on it, that's the one thing like I was like, oh, I, I'm, I'm nervous to do this blind and not know, you know, what's going to be in each pack. But now that I've been on bed rest and I've seen people open their boxes, I'm like, all right, well, now I know what to expect in the packs. And speaking of the packs, they are made of paper, uh, which is really nice. So they have this material. I've heard people comment on them. And they are right. Look at that. Tears really easily. Uh, all right. First card in every pack, from what I understand, is going to be a leader card. So you have your leader there. We have Leia Organa. And it's a two-sided card, which is really cool. I like the artwork on this one in particular. Um, but then you also get a base card. Uh, so Chopper Base. And yeah, this one's two-sided as well and has upgrade token upgrades on the other side. So these are the first two cards you get in every pack. And the last card you get in every pack is going to be a foil every single time. Um, so we'll get there when we get there. And along the way, you're going to get a lot of common cards. These are going to be your grunt forces, you know, whether it's soldiers or vehicles, stuff like that. You're going to see here as we go through them, uh, there's event cards, like the first two we just saw. You got your unit card, which is a ground unit. You got your, look at that, A-wing, your... Unit for space, space unit, so vehicle card. Um, again, more ground troopers and space vehicles. Um, you have ISB agent, Karelian fighter, which is not exactly the Millennium Falcon, but looks very similar. Um, you got your Jawa scavenger, distant patroller, cartel spacer. Um, and like I said, I personally just like a lot of the artwork on these. 97th Legion, that's a cool card. So that down here, it'll say like the number of card in the set. So it'll say like 118 out of 252. That's how many cards are in the base set with the borders around them. But then there are other called, uh, cards called hyperspaces, which ex kind of a little bit extend the artwork, show the hyperspace effect around it. And then there's foil versions of the base with the uh, you know uh, trim around it. And then there's a foil version of the hyperspace. So I guess there's about four versions of each card. Um, so, but that's an uncommon, it'll say right there in the bottom, C for common, U for uncommon, and then you'll get a rare, like Chopper, dude, we got Chopper, uh, for me, I'm, I'm about collecting the, uh, Rebels characters, I would like to make a set, like a, a deck using as many Rebel characters as I can, and I know Blue wants to make a, a set using as many Rogue One characters as he can, because he's a big fan of Rogue One. He has uh, gotten into the Star Wars movies a little bit over the last few months, and Rogue One stood out to him as a story about hope and sacrifice. And uh, although hope is kind of a running theme in Star Wars, uh, it plays a big hand in, um, in you know, taking a leap of faith in Rogue One, because everyone's pretty much they're the Suicide Squad, essentially. So, yeah, Blue really liked that one. So uh, so he's trying to build a, a, a character deck full of those characters, and I want to build some Rebels characters. So that's cool. I'm going to put Chopper to the side, because he's a character that I really like. Um, and then, boom, there's our foil, our Swoop Racer. Cool. And so, like, the, the foil can be any card. It can be any card in the set that you can get. Um, it could be a base card. It could be, you know, hyperspace. It could be anything. Um, so, all right. Moving on. Hey, speaking of hyperspace, so here we go. We have our leader card of Sabine Wren, who is who I want to be either her or Hera, I think are the two leaders from Rebels. I'd like one of them to be the leader of the deck I'm building. Um, and this is really cool. It's a common, sure, but it's a hyperspace. Um, so you got the hyperspace effect. So they don't really extend the artwork. I think they repeat the border of the artwork and just add those effects to kind of blur it. Um, but yeah, it's neat. It's just kind of an extended form of the art. And then there's a third version of these called showcases, like I said, and they have completely different art on them and they reposition the boxes here in a more stylized way, um, almost like a comic book panel in a way. So this is cool. I mean, I'm totally down for having that Sabine with the extension there, um, uh, the hyperspace. So, all right, Dagobah Swamp. Okay, put that over here. And then here, we're back to our unit cards and our base, our regular stuff, so our commons. 
And I see people when they open their boxes, Blue sent me a link to this guy's channel and he's just flipping through. He just didn't care, didn't stop to look at any of the cards, probably because he played the pre-release pre event in real life and saw a lot of the cards. So I don't think anything really impressed him. But for as a viewer, for me, I was annoyed by his video a little bit. Blue loved his video, but for me, I was like, dude, you're going through the cards too fast. I, I don't know what they are. I want to see some of the artwork um, because uh, when we got the Moon Knight cards, that featured just shots of the show. And uh, and I wanted to get into a set that actually had artwork on it. So this is a happy medium because me and Blue also wanted to learn uh, a playing card game too, like this. All right, so Recruit. Another common maximum firepower. Disarm event card. Hey, so here's another hyperspace. Sometimes you'll get them randomly in the pack. And I think they're on average, you're getting one every pack or every other pack, I think. I uh, I believe. I don't know. There's I think there's some people got like three in a pack before. So yeah, who knows? But um, yeah, keep fighting. That's a cool looking card. And that's got clone troopers on it and droids. So that's a clone wars type card. I'm going to put that aside because I like that era of Star Wars. Um, Force Choke. That's a really cool one with Vader. Very nice card. All right. Uh, tie Advanced. Cool. I see our foil back there, and I think it's a foil hyperspace, possibly. Um, Distant Patroller. Whoa, check it out. Boba Fett. His ship. That's cool. The Slave One, which I don't think they call it the Slave One anymore. Um but yeah, that's a cool ship. Very, very cool. All right, I'm going to put that aside too. And boom! Oh, Metal Ceremony in Hyperspace with the foil. That's cool. And again, it's a common card. But it's, I don't know, it's just cool. It's cool to hit one of these, especially in foil. That looks really nice. Awesome. All right, so we got four packs left. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, and like I said, we will have at least two more videos on this channel regarding these cards. And then maybe when we play the game uh, with our friend, oh my God, you're kidding me. Uh, when we play this game with our friend, we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll make a video of that too, probably our friend John. Okay, so boom, Grand Inquisitor. This is a showcase foil. You're kidding me. You are kidding me. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I'm dropping it. No, 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 no. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Look at that. So let me see. I think I have the Inquisitor. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, so look. This is the original Grand Inquisitor card. So we happened to get this in one of the boxes that Blue opened and he didn't film himself opening. So... We had this in there, and he put it in his binder. Um, so this is really cool. That's what the original card looks like. And there is the foil version of the showcase card. I think I think there's foil and non-foil. I may be wrong. Maybe this is just how all showcase cards look. Um, to be honest, I've, uh, I've only heard it described. I've never actually seen one. So this is awesome. Um, so you'll see that. It has some slight different abilities on it, slightly. Uh, deal two damage to a friendly unit with three or less power and ready it. You may deal one damage to another friendly unit with three or less power. So, yeah, there's slight differences on the cards. Um, so, very, very neat. Uh, so, this one, deal one damage. Oh, and deal two damage. Oh, okay, so it's, the, it's actually the same. Never mind. Epic action. If you control six or more resources, deploy their leader. Deploy this leader. Oh, okay. Deploy this leader. Okay. So it is the same card. I'm, I'm my mistake. As like I said, I've never really seen one and to have a comparison is amazing because we have one of these from the box that blew open. So when we ordered these, we ordered the pre-release pack, uh, two boxes, and then also the, the two player starter thing. All right. So I'm actually going to sleeve this. Let's see. All right. Perfect. And then we'll pop it in the top loader. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that. And it's a character I really like. Like I said, I like the Inquisitor. I'm a big fan of the Rebels cartoon. And if I was going to build a dark side deck, I was probably going to go with an Inquisitor um, deck. So this is just, <laughs> just to show it off in a match. 
uh, you know, that would be cool to have this in play. So yeah, I really dig that. That's cool. I'm glad I could actually show off what one of these look like. <laughs> That's cool. And the, the fact that we got it in the pre-release box is just amazing. So, all right. And then I'll put my regular Inquisitor, we'll put it back in the binder. So, wow, we haven't got through the pack yet. So there we go. Kestro City, uh, Disabling Fang Fighter. Uh, let's put that in the base. Let's put that in our trooper events. Um, more. I doubt there's going to be any other hits in this pack because that's like a major hit. Um, I don't know. That's, you know, obviously pre people would probably prefer Darth Vader or other characters, but, uh, and I would too. I'm not, but to get Inquisitor for me is really cool because I like that character. Um, so yeah, very, very neat. And uh, boom, Inferno 4. We got a Greedo. Cool. Bright Hope for our Uncommon. Traitorous is our rare card. And Rogue Operative for our foil. All right. So just three packs left. <laughs> well, that's definitely got to be the hit of the box. Um, so that's cool. So hopefully that means we'll go through these a little bit faster. So, uh, And I'm sorry this is a, probably a long video for some of you. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really happy with what we got in this. So I'll try to edit it down the best I can. All right. So we got a Sabine Wren, another one. So we'll put her here. Ooh. A hyperspace capital city. Check that out. Very, very nice. From Lethal, which is obviously from Rebels. So I'm going to hang on to that one. We're going to put that over here. Uh, we got a Jin Urso looking. Yeah, that's her from Inf Infiltrator Skill. Uh, Battlefield Marine. Boom. More unit and events. Yes. Consortium Star Viper. Check these guys out. That's awesome. Gamorian Guards. Very cool. Common, though. Thai LN Fighter. Crafty Smuggler. More common cards. Here's an uncommon Force Surrender. The Force is with me. Ooh. Oh, I might put that aside for Blue. This is, uh, I think the character Blue is going to make his deck of, uh, from, uh, who's the leader of his deck, which is uh, Chirrut, um, who is from Rogue One. And uh, it makes sense if you kind of know Blue and kind of his thing. He, a character like this, I, I get it. Like, uh, I get why he liked him in the in the show. Him and the uh, the guy with him, the the um, Bayes Malbus or something like that, I think is the name, the other guy. So, yeah, I'll put that aside. Maybe Blue will like that. I don't know. He might already have that one. I didn't go through the whole binder, just some of them. Um, Pirated Starfighter. I mean, I looked through the whole binder, but I didn't, like, linger on every page of the binder. Um so, oh, boom. Hey, for Rebels. Look at that. Resupply. And it's a hyperspace foil. Cool. It's a common card, but it has Hera and Sabine on it. So I'm going to tuck that aside for us. All right. Sweet. All right. Two packs left. <laughs> so, yeah. So what are your favorite Star Wars movies? Let's start with um, the original trilogy. Because obviously, you know, you don't need to hear my opinion on those. I love those movies. Um, and Rogue One, I like too. Uh, Blue is definitely, that's more of his favorite, I guess, than mine. Not that it's a competition, but I also like Rogue One. I thought it was a good movie. Um, could have been better, and I heard there was reshoots and stuff like that. I'm curious to see what was cut, uh, you know, if that footage ever got out there in some way, like a deleted scene or special edition, you know, Blu-ray or something would be cool. But I don't think, you know, they'll ever release stuff like that. I think a lot of studios are scared sometimes to release what could have been. And uh, and that's a shame because sometimes just out of curiosity, I like to know what could have been. Um, but uh, But still, I like that movie overall. And I was surprised it ended the way it did. I wasn't expecting a, a downer ending, although it did have hope in it. So, yeah, good. And it led you right into episode, you know, four. So, um, all right. So we got Chewbacca here as our leader. Um, but Rebels, I love Rebels a lot. And I have a lot of favorite episodes of Rebels. And I think I'm going to probably have to do a rewatch of Rebels at some point. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, hey, look, another hyperspace of the Death Star Command Center. Sweet. Very nice. Oh, and there's the foil card we got, just in regular resupply. I think we got that in a previous pack, too. Uh, the Imperial Interceptor, Interceptor, Academy Defense Walker. This is also from Rebels, I think. It's got those eyes on it, those uh, weird gecko-looking eyes. Very cool-looking. Um, Precision Fire, that's cool. A Sniper Stormtrooper. Metal Ceremony, cool. Season Shore Trooper. Frontier ATRT. Syndicate Lackeys. Jawa Scavenger, Lieutenant Lieutenant Childson, Childson, 
Death Star Prison Warden. Um, I can't remember. Rogue One or Rebels? I can't remember. Um, let me know in the comments. Uh, Pirated Starfighter. Rogue Squadron Skirmisher. Cool. Hey, Wedge. Wedge Antilles. That's a cool card. Nice. And he's a rare. Sweet. And then a Thai LN Fighter in foil. Cool. And then, yeah, there's, um, I think there's common, uncommon, uh, rare, and legendary, I think, are those the four um, types of cards, I guess, or ranks of cards. Oh, so here you go. Look, Chirrut Imwe. Um, so, like I said, I think Blue is aiming to build, because he has this card in the hyperspace with all the lines around it and stuff. And, uh, and he had that set off to the side, uh, not in the binder. So... I'm guessing he's going to use that for his leader, possibly. So that's cool. So you know what? I'll keep the base there. Um, I don't know if we have one in the binder. I don't think we do. So I'll, I'll give that to him. He can put it in his binder. Um, and then Administrator's Tower from Cloud City. All right, cool. Our base card. All right, last pack. Let's see what we're going to get. Although, I mean, we got a showcase card, so I ain't mad. Patrol Craft, Open Fire. Um, recruit, Wilderness Fighter, Green Squadron, A-Wing, Crafty Smuggler, ATST. Oh, that's cool looking. ATST. Seventh Fleet Defender. A, hey, the Fifth Brother. Another cool character from Rebels. And I think he ended up on um, the Obi-Wan show, maybe? He, he ended up on one of the other shows, I think. Um, I think it was him, or maybe it was... Yeah, because there's seventh sister, fifth brother. There's a couple of them, so maybe. Um, Yoda, awesome. Outmaneuver, whoa, with the Falcon. Check that out. That's a cool piece of art. I like that art. Good job on that one. Whoa, a rare Palpatine. That's cool. Wow, all right. When attacking enemy unit, deal excessive damage to the opponent's base. Cool. All right, we'll set that aside and... Reveal. Oh, we got an ATST walker for our fat last foil. All right, so let's do a recap real quick. We got those four foils. Um, and then we got this foil, the, the one that uh, with the hyperspace. And what else? Did we have another foil, right? Because we opened six packs. Oh, yeah. Here we go. The resupply. So we had two hyperspace foils and four base foils in this box um then we got the palpatine i mean some of these cards aren't going to mean anything to anyone else these are just cards that stood out to us that we liked but having a capital city with the extended art so i also noticed this every card down here when you get the base one with the the trim around it uh, the border it says what number it is out of 252 but then when you go to the hyperspace they have completely a new bracket like there's no out of whatever so i guess these are all the extended cards so once you get hyperspaces and foil hyperspaces, I think they just go into the 300s, 400s, 500s. And I think there's a total of like 900 cards in this set. The first video I watched was a guy who said something along those lines. I think he has like a giant binder and he's going to try to get all 900 cards, which brother, good luck, man. You're going to be spending a lot of money. Luckily, these are cheaper than the average card games um, that are out there and the amount of cards you get per you know, box and stuff, but that just, to me, reduces your odds a lot of times, too, um, and then if you're trying to get all the showcases, I mean, oh my goodness, and if there is foil and non-foil versions, like, just the, my head <laughs> just can't handle uh, the, doing the math on that, but uh, yeah, 900 cards, that's a lot, so good luck to that gentleman <laughs> out there who's doing that, uh, or anyone who's doing that, but yeah, Fett's Fire Spray, that's cool, and then yeah, just some of these are just cool cards, like, you know, getting the hyperspace versions getting chopper though is cool i mean i was looking for more rebel characters so having chopper is awesome um and then yeah our leaders out of this box were um obviously we got sabine with the you know the hyperspace we got uh sabine regular we got a chewbacca we got a princess leia and then obviously the grand inquisitor showcase foil just awesome. So, yeah, pretty good. And then look at all these cards we got. You could probably, you know, I don't know how compatible all these cards are, but you could almost make a deck. 
because I think the deck is like 60 cards on average to play the game. So yeah, I mean, you could just take a leader, a base, and just from this pre-release kit, you know, and I guess that makes sense because people probably bought these and some spare packs to build a deck and play on pre-release weekend, uh, which was like two weekends ago as of filming this. So just cool. But yeah, that's a lot of cards. And uh, like when I saw Blue's open box, he put all of his cards in a binder and then put all the spares aside and then spaced some out that he wants to put in his deck, like Cheerwit and stuff. So, um, and I saw a lot. I'm like, God, how many? So I did the math. I'm like, 380 something cards per hobby box. That's amazing. So we will definitely open a hobby box coming up. But in the next video, we're going to go through and see what's in the two player starter kit. Uh, and we'll start there uh, because these videos, this one's very long for something that was so small. Um, so I'm going to try to edit this down and do the best I can. And I'm still recovering, so I'm very rambly right now. And I don't haven't talked about Star Wars in a long time on my channel, so that's another reason why I'm a very chatty Cathy on this one. So, you know, if, if I ran a little too long, I'm sorry I got long-winded. I'll try to summarize it better in the next episode. Um, or if you don't mind longer videos and you don't mind me ranting, that's fine too. But let me know down you know, in the comments what you think of these cards, of this set, if there are any cards you're looking for, are you collecting these? I'm curious to know. And if you're, just, if you're not collecting these, but you have a favorite Star Wars movie or book or comic or whatever, I'd love to hear that down below as well. And we'll keep talking down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, may the Force be with you. Peace.